Okay, hey. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to do a sketch, a quick sketch of a fighting monkey. I don't know if you can hear me. I'm having some sound troubles. But uh, at the original pose, I want him to do uh, like an old time boxer pose, wearing boxing gloves and, uh, you know, the tail, of course. Right here, I'm just doing a quick pencil sketch. I've sped up the drawing by four times. So I'm taking uh, just black and white and just doing a quick little doodle of how I want him to stand. And uh, I don't like the white background, so I overlay or I multiply some color into it. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be naked, so I just threw on some color to see which ones would stick. You know, if it would look good on him. And uh, right now I'm just refining it. I kind of like that darker brown that I have in the background. At this point, I'm using a quick mask to outline the silhouette, or just to make the silhouette. So it'll help me with the drawing to see where I'm messing up. Then I see that his back was too thin, too straight, so I'm trying to fix it. So I uh, just use the eyedropper and pick some colors from the background and uh, try to give a little perspective to help with the drawing. Now I'm filling it in. And uh, I, I've decided to, well, right here I'm cleaning up the, uh, the silhouette I made before. So I've decided to give him some clothes. And uh, right here I'm just putting in some shadows to outline his details. There's a tail. Let's see how it'll look. And uh, I'm just color picking, you know, it's nothing, nothing too much. I'm just refining it making them some pants over there and uh, I'm using a hard edge brush I'm not really smudging it or anything just drawing it in just to see how it would look and you know most of this stuff I'll fix anyways so and uh, the point of making the quick mass is so that I could just go in and out of the figure without worrying about going over things and it just helps it makes it a little faster too I'm lighting the background just to make the figure stand out a little bit more. And uh, that's how it looks. It, the quick mass was a little too transparent, so I darkened it over here in uh, the channel. Now, this helped me with his f like overall form. I just went into the head. I wasn't sure if it was going to be more monkey or more man, and as I'm drawing it, I kind of like him more as a uh, more man than monkey except he has a big ears just that you know just getting the forms correct smudging a little bit more and uh, the smudge tool if, if you use it correctly it's actually really useful it's nice and uh, it's fast that's the main thing instead of uh, you know, lowering your opacity with a paintbrush, the smudge tool, just, you just go buy it really quick. It kind of looks like me. Uh, I was playing around with the color, just getting a little, like a red mohawk thing going, but I thought it didn't look very good, so I changed it later on. And over here, just still refining, you know, I like his arms. Look how muscular those guns are. Wow. Uh, just more smudging. Trying to add a little a couple of highlights so it didn't look so flat. Uh, kind of look like Michelangelo arms from the Ninja Turtles. That fist was giving me a lot of trouble. I'm going to have to go back over it after this is done because I didn't really fix it. So I usually jump around just to keep myself from wor overworking on one area, especially for these quick sketches. It doesn't make sense. So there's the tail, more smudging. Big shoes. Just didn't want to spend too much time on the shoes, so it's kind of half-assed it. Uh, the old football uniforms, the stripes, kind of like the stripes because it makes them look faster. <laughs> the 
little wrinkles on the pants. The brush I'm using right now is a wet edge brush I made. It's, uh, it's nice because it looks blurry, but it's not like a soft brush. If you look at the drawing later on, you can see uh, it's transparent. It's more picking up some color when I give him a little color on his flesh. Because I was going to make him monkey now that he looks more human. Might as well give him some human colors. Paintbrush and smudge tool at the same time. Trying to give him more uh, forceful fist. Shadows of the green. I don't know if my narration's really helping. <laughs> uh, that red is a little too loud. I'm gonna have to get rid of that later. More green for the shadow. Uh, it's a little gradient just because that part was bugging me. Just bringing down the background a little bit more. Fast forward to like two seconds. I don't know why I did that. But uh, yeah, I was going to give him a turtleneck too. Instead of leaving his neck exposed. Really go hardcore. Now he really looks like me. Give him a little muscle definition. This is when, when I start doing stuff like that, it's like I'm going a little too detailed, and I didn't want to do that. It just happens. In my brain, I was telling myself, you know, just do this 30 minutes, keep it under 30 minutes. And I went over by two minutes. But here I am working on the fist again. Wasn't looking very good. But I, I didn't want to spend any more time on it, so I just stopped. Got rid of some of that white. Went back to the quick mass. I wanted to make his skin a little like less cold. So I went into uh, curves and just added a little bit of red. Painted out some of the other spots. Uh, I forgot to do the stripes on his arm, so I went back and put in some of the stripes. Now he really looks like a boxer. Put him up. Now the turtleneck. Uh, blur the bottom part a little bit. I should have cropped it, but... You, you don't even notice on the video, but it's, I just I want to blur the uh, 